Hi, my name is Ian Winnard, and I'm uh, from Ian Winnard at St Peter and Plymouth. And today we're going to be testing a new piece of kit that's been sent out to us from the Tool Talk testing kit, um, courtesy of uh, Harrison. So we'll just zoom in and show you this that's arrived in the post. And it's got this little bar there, it's got the ProFit name on it, quite a substantial little piece of kit. And a series of cutters. There's two cutters here. The first cutter is the Profit and it's 20 millimeters. So it'll be okay for 15 mil pipe. And the other one that they've sent out is 25 mil. So you could put a 22 mil pipe through cupboards or units or even floors with this type of stuff. So what we'd like to do is just talk about what you could previously use over the years, they started off with these type of cutters, and these were a series of cutters that had different blades in. These just pop out and pop back in. So it was full of blades, you can see uh, we've had quite a few, and you just pull out the one that's a similar size, and it locks in. Quite a cheap piece of kit. And then we moved up to this type of piece of kit. And this is a bi-metal, cutter series of blades there you can see this is a new one because we have to be fair if you're going to do a test that both cutters has to be new um, this is quick release in that quick on spin a couple of pins drop out the back of it allowing it to spin off like that and take away you need to line up the pins to get it to lock back on again and uh, Right, let's take a little bit of adjusting and then it locks on. So this is actually ready to go as a drill for cutting. So we're on one speed, we'll go on to two. We're going to be testing that in a short moment. What it does say on these cutters is you should be wearing safety goggles. Well, these are toughened glass that I use anyway for work. And what it doesn't mention is your safety mask. If you're going to be cutting in any material, especially particle boards, hardwoods, you've got to protect yourself. You don't want to be going down in years to come with COPD. So be very, very careful. So we're just going to put this uh, mask on and we're just going to do a test hole and see how this little cutter takes to work uh, it through. We're going to start cutting a hole. This is 25mm chipboard. Because it was a brand new cutter, you can see it didn't start smoking, or it did at the beginning. It does cut pretty reasonable, and on this cutter, it actually came out. So, what we're going to do is, these, these are very difficult to use in that sometimes you get the wooden part stuck inside there, and then you have to start messing around getting screwdrivers and forcing out the wooden block. It, this is what takes time. We were quite lucky there and it actually fell out. You see, there's the teeth on it. Now, after a while, these will burn out. They'll get very, very hot and then you'll get the smoking coming off. If you look at this piece here, this new pro thing, it's, it's quite good in it's got a little button to grip on to the bar. So I'll just show it going inside there and should just lock on. Here it go there. So we're going to put this into here. Slightly different size. Just lock that up nice and tight. As I said, to be fair, we need to be changing the batteries at this stage. Because these were both separately fully charged. 
are all locked on and just put my mask back on and give it a go. Wow, that really flew through there. Um, a different size, it doesn't really matter whether it's a different size because it's still cutting out a diff little bit of the material as it's going through. Um, I would say that was rapid actually. That's really, really good. It's a different size, I think we'd like to try the next size up, which is 22 mil. Keep the same battery in. I'll stick the old mask back on. And let's see how it does with this one. Well, that's pretty impressive actually. The difference between this one and these is you've only got one cutting edge, one tungsten tip there, and that's what's doing the work against all these cutting away at the same time. I do believe that uh, sometimes when you're cutting holes, or it's happened to us, and you've measured up and you're slightly out of line. So what you find is that I'm trying to cut a bigger hole here. You can try and do it with one of these, but you tend to skate when you get off the centre. So your hole goes out of line. I'm impressed with the way that this cuts through this. In fact, it's so good I want to give it another go. Because I want to see if the piece of wood that I cut out stays inside. there it is it's actually broken up into pieces but if you just press the button in pull back all the residue just comes straight off whereas in this one you would have to get screwdrivers to try and wedge it out they do stick in believe me so you can center these to go through a small hole that you've missed size but you would need the bigger one than the ones that they've sent us today. So what you would do is pull the bigger one back, stick the one in front of it. Now this one isn't designed uh, to go through that hole, I don't think. We could try it. No, it's not quite. I understand that, but there we go. So this is the new Pro, Pro Fit Cutter. Um, I think I'd like to see, because sometimes it's not always chipboard that you're cutting, is I'd like to look at what it's going to do if it's going to go through a piece of, not joist, but it would be thick enough to be joist, and see how it cuts on, on like a basic white wood. So we'll just stick it back on there, click it in, slot it in. And uh, let's see what it does to this. Wow. A bit messy coming out of the back. We could have stopped and gone halfway through and then come in the other side, which would stop all that. But uh, to cut through that, it's... Uh, that's pretty impressive really, a fairly neat hole, obviously if you're going to cut through you wouldn't want this. So I'll just, I'll just show you where, what we would do with that. Okay, uh, go from the other side. Pull it out. And that's the difference when you go from one side to the other, you don't get the damage. Thanks again to Harrison and all the guys at Tool Tech or wherever that's working there for sending us out this test kit. Um, and thank you for uh, Profit for giving us this piece of kit to test out. Uh, 
pretty impressive really. Um, I like all the little buttons. Um, not getting clogged up inside and fast cutting. That's extremely short actually now. So now the paint's coming away. So that's a good bit of kit. I'm sure we'll be using it on the job. Uh, it'd be nice to have a full set of it. Um, you can look online. You can look under ProTech online. And uh, they do do kits for different trades. So they do them for heating and plumbing, electricians, and various other cutters that they do um, for cutting through tiles, brickwork, and also timber. So thank you once again, and uh, thanks from me and James at uh, Inwinard and Sun Heating and Plumbing. Thank you.